What's going on guys? It's Jeremy back again with another exploration. So today we're in Southern France and we're exploring this very, very old castle. This place hands down is probably the most incredible castle we've seen on this trip so far. It's fully loaded. It's a complete time capsule. At this point, we should just get right into the video. Perched on a hill, just on the outskirts of a small French village, is an abandoned chateau that's been a well-kept secret for many years. Dating back to the 13th century, this chateau is originally the home of a nobleman, and over the course of almost 900 years and many generations of heirs, it's been the home of countless occupants, including knights, lords, barons, and even a well-known French poet during the 20th century. This fortified castle was originally constructed with a drawbridge and a moat, but they've since disappeared over the years. And sometime during the Renaissance period, 12 barrel vaulted stables were added, along with renovations at the beginning of the 20th century. It's unclear exactly when this place became abandoned, but it's speculated the last known family to live here was during the late 1980s. I can only assume this castle, like so many others in this part of the world, has been neglected because of the staggering cost of maintaining a 900-year-old structure. And so, the future of this historic castle is unclear as it continues to slowly decay and take on the devastation of nature's unrelenting hand. So let's step inside this mysterious castle and let's unveil, for the first time ever, what's hidden within its stone walls. Big Banks and I are about to come up behind this castle, but first, check out this beautiful French countryside. Y'all know me, I love the hike to an abandoned location. You get to experience things like this. You get to see a part of the country that you never would have seen otherwise, you know. All right, so we just got up to the back of it. We're about to scoot across this. You can't really see it, but it's actually in that clump of trees right there. Let's go. swimming. It's a nice hot day. It might take a dip after we explore this place and this green toxic water. <laughs> Carter says I'm on my own, but little does he know we're doing this together. Okay, looks like there's an entrance over here to this place. I guess we'll just stroll right on in and see what we can find, shall we? workshop area. Yeah, place to hang tools. Definitely someone's workshop. A deep freezer. It actually looks kind of modern. I wonder what all these markings are on the wall. It's very interesting. 
maybe from years of hanging tools, taking tools off the, the wall. So the walls and the um, ceiling are very black, almost like soot was in this room. Maybe there's a fire at one point, or maybe that's just the natural decay that's growing on this place. Oh, wow, guys, look at this. Whoa. Holy cow. This place immediately has gotten very interesting. And look at this detail on this massive cabinet. This thing has gotta be 15 feet tall. And all this china is still in it. This is absolutely incredible. table still here with all the original chairs. Oh, and look at this wall with all this china still hanging on it. Incredible. And I love this artwork, this very moody artwork hanging up top with this very light and airy floral wallpaper with birds on it. An entire cabinet completely full with espresso cups, china, wine glasses, champagne glasses. I want to just notice the tile floor, like a checkered design. And I can only imagine what chandelier used to hang up there. Same thing over here, completely full of china. And I love these recessed cabinets built into the walls and the doors have mirrors on them. And this beautiful marble fireplace, look at this guys. This feels so surreal to be here. I'm absolutely blown away by this place. Never in my life have I seen something like this before. And look at this furniture. You guys know I'm a sucker for wood detail. And this is one of the most detailed pieces I've seen in a while. And it's in immaculate condition. Just to think that this was all hand carved. There's rare, very expensive pieces in this place. And this beautiful table with a marble top on it. There's walnuts still sitting on the tray. wait to see what else is in this place. So this looks like this is probably a big grand entrance at one point. You can tell by how the coat rack right here is hanging. So this is definitely a place people would enter in quite frequently. And there's a sink here, a fountain to wash your hands or I'm not really sure what this fountain's for. If you guys know what this fountain and this foyer is for, let me know in the comments below. And look at this grand staircase. seen so much already. Let's keep going further along, shall we? Oh my God. Here is a library. 
an actual library in this castle. Holy cow. And there's the French flag. red tile on the floor. Very moody red tile with this light blue green walls. The tile kind of matches the books. with these amazing designs on them. Very old books. And each of these corner nooks are full of magazines. I love this ladder here on casters where you can slide it around the room and get your books off the top shelves. Incredible guys. I love the design of this book with the gold lettering. Just opened this book and I immediately got hit with like this magical smell of must, but it's a very distinct must smell that only an old book omits. Okay, let's see what's further along in this room. Look at this little nook and this artwork. And this is incredible. Look how huge this room is. All these old fossils and the cabinet here. striking no matter where you look. All this antique furniture still left behind. church 
local church they went to. And look at this marble fireplace. It has like an orange color to it. And this amazing hand-carved design in it. The attention to detail in this place is just striking. Even up top, above the doorways. Okay, let's see what's in this next room. I can't even imagine what I'm about to see. Wow. It's a bedroom. A beautiful bedroom. And look at this table here with the chessboard. Again, another marble fireplace. Incredible, guys. The bed still made. It matches the room. still in the cabinet. Beautiful Victorian furniture in here. Maybe even pre-Victorian. Not too interesting in there. But this room is incredible. It's not a very big bed. It's probably a, I don't know, I would say a, a full-size bed. Maybe there's a daughter that lived in here. And look how clean this bathroom is. How shiny these walls are. It looks actually pretty modern in here. Surprisingly enough, maybe this was an addition onto the house. It's a very small bathroom. And look at this. It's like a little cleaning area. It looks like it's only big enough for like a small person to sit down in or even a baby. It makes me wonder if, you know, perhaps this is a daughter's room or definitely a smaller person that took a bath in this tub. And look at this, the skeleton key just hanging out of the door. I'm on cloud nine right now, just being inside this place. I cannot believe I'm seeing this with my own eyes. All right, coming back through this room. It's a very small desk in the middle of this floor. Very Another writing desk over here. I miss this closet. I wonder what's inside of here. Oh, well, I can't get it open and I don't, definitely don't want to break anything. Look at this, more woodwork detail up top. Guys, I think it's time that we go upstairs. Pretty excited. I feel like just judging by. God damn it. Pretty excited. I feel like just judging by the things that we found downstairs. I feel like we're about to find some incredible stuff upstairs as well. staircase. And these ceilings have got to be at least 50 feet high. And you can see right there, there's a chain where there once used to be a chandelier that was hanging. But look at this, just like all the other castles that we've explored. There's bats. 
that's up top. Definitely not sleeping. Okay, let's go down this hallway and see what we can find over here. Oh, wow. And there's a bedroom up here that looks like a complete time capsule. Guys, look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. The bedrooms up here are, are massive. The bed, again, still made. I wonder who these people are up top. Maybe relatives. Could even be someone who used to live in this bedroom. Oh, and look at this. There's a small bathroom with a bathtub. I did not expect that. I thought this would be a closet. this wallpaper. That pattern's so neat. And again, just high quality antique furniture up here. With a marble top. A marble top that matches this fireplace. This is amazing. Could you imagine living in a place like this? All right, let's keep going. Down this mysterious dark hallway. God, look at all these letters in this old chest. These are all, looks like all handwritten letters. Victorian furniture. Let's see what's in here. Bunch, bunch of uh, mattresses. But look at this, it's a closet full of furniture. Look at this beautiful table with this green, green velvet material on it. Again, just beautiful furniture pieces in this, in this room, in this castle. So this is definitely the most dilapidated or trashed room that I've seen so far, but still beautiful nonetheless. I love the light airy, like the mint green with the yellow wallpaper. It's a very fun room and a purple door. I wouldn't have uh, thought of that color with this. Moving right along. Yeah, it's getting pretty congested back here with furniture everywhere. I'm having to step over stuff. Looks like we got another bedroom in here. Two beds. Look at this wallpaper. This is absolutely amazing. Again, another marble fireplace. I imagine every fireplace in this, in this castle is marble. So this is very like, it's very common looking artwork throughout this entire house. It all very cohesive. It kind of ties the whole house in together. Again, that black and white hand-drawn artwork. 
a table with a marble top. It's very royal looking chairs. Just expensive, priceless items and that's left inside this place. I think the further we go along, we're pretty much reaching the end of one wing of this castle and it's starting to look pretty dilapidated. It's not uncommon to encounter various creatures who've claimed abandoned places as their home. But this room had quite a surprise waiting for me just around the corner. Bats. One of the most notorious but misunderstood creatures of abandoned places. Most people believe them to be a dangerous nuisance. But what they don't know is that less than 1% of bats actually carry rabies. That being said, I still figured I'd wait for the bats to clear out of the room before exploring this one. Oh my God, this is incredible. Look at this beautiful bed. I, I just cannot believe I'm here. Room after room, I just keep having my mind absolutely blown. And this bookshelf with very old books on it. Much older, looks like, than the books um, downstairs. Or either these just have been exposed to the elements more. Okay, so we've pretty much seen all of this wing of the castle. I think it's time to head down to the left wing and see what's down there. Okay, so here we are, back at the staircase. Let's see what's over here. So it looks like an office, not too interesting. I think it wraps around though. Let's, let's go around here and see what's over here. Oh, what have we found? starting to come apart, sadly. And this floral bedding, kind of similar to the floral design on the wallpaper. So much attention to detail in this, in this castle. Oh, look at this bathroom. Look at these, this color combination, this black tile with the seafoam green. I believe the vanity has been ripped out of this place. I can only imagine what it used to look like. So beautiful in here. So as you can imagine, honor and reputation was of great importance to the Baron, as this family crest clearly shows. All right. 
right. Going further along, deeper into this place. So this looks like a long, narrow hallway. Pretty large storage closet in here. Nothing too interesting. Wow, look at this, another bathroom right next to the other one. Let's see what's down here. Looks like maybe another bedroom, guys. Let's see. Oh my God. Look at this beautiful room. This bed. Look at all this hand carved woodwork and this up top. This is amazing. And this very bold velvet sheet that's on the bed. It's just a pop of color. This is absolutely incredible. Oh my God, the bed just keeps getting better and better. Look at this. Wow. Oh, this is incredible. And of course, an old Singer sewing machine and the original wooden lid that goes over it. A very fancy royal looking chair. Look at this embroidery that's in it. And again, cohesive artwork that's basically in every room. I've seen a lot of religious artifacts in this place. It's like a massive walk-in closet over here, or maybe a reading room. I'm blown away by this place. Sorry guys, I'm stepping on broken glass. What's in this table? Some toothpicks. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. This is incredible. I wonder what's in this beautiful wardrobe here. Honestly, it just looks like a bunch of junk in here. Okay, let's keep going down this hallway. See what we can find down here. Looks like a pretty, pretty trashed room in here. this arched doorway here. Wow, look at this entire hallway here with this wallpaper <laughs> and this orange light fixture above. So 70s in here. Another room in here. So it looks like this part of the castle is definitely more trashed I don't know why that is. It looks like we're reaching the end of the left wing. A little kitchen area. It looks like a bathroom over here. Pretty simple bathroom in there. And what's down here, I wonder? One more bedroom. And again, it's pretty bare in here. 
not too interesting in this. Whoa, there's a bat. God, that scared me. Ah, they always do that. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of this room. I'm gonna go back downstairs and I wanna check out what it looks like outside of this place. All right, guys, we're coming back outside. We've been in there for quite a while filming. And as you can see right here, we have a swimming pool, which I was showing you guys earlier, but now we actually get a close up look at it. I imagine back in the day, that fountain over there across the pool used to have water flowing. Makes me wonder how deep this thing is. It's so quiet out here, really peaceful here in the countryside of France. I can only imagine what this courtyard used to look like at one point. Makes me wonder if maybe there was a fountain out here in the middle. Definitely a garden of some sort. Now it's just all grown over with bushes. It's very ominous out here, really. All right, guys, and just like that, we've explored another amazing castle here in Southern France. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And until next time, stay off the beaten path.